they got me. Temu got me, guys. Seeing all the hype revolving around Temu, I was like, you know what? I want to try their beauty products. Full disclosure, Temu did send me all these products. Behind me, you'll see I do have a code back there. It saves new users 30% off, and everything that I use today will be linked down below along with that code. It's there if you would like to use it. It does help out my channel. It will allow me to get more products to review for you guys, so if that's something that you want to do, thank you so much. It doesn't only work on makeup products. It's for the entire site, so that kind of brings me to, if you guys don't know what Temu is, it's basically like a, I don't even know how to explain it like a full marketplace with like really cheap items so I have pretty much everything for a full face so let's go ahead and get started because this video is gonna be super long <laughs> hello welcome to my face so for our eyeshadow we have miss Laura nice little rainbow effect going on there now I did already swatch this and I'm not gonna lie I'm not that impressed I think we're just gonna have to do a lot of building which I'm not completely opposed to, but I mean, it's green. I love green. I have no idea what kind of look I want to do. Like, obviously it's going to be green. I just, ugh, I want to play with this minty shade here, but I think I want to save that for another look because you know, I already prepped my eyes. I just used my angel eyes primer just to give it a like fair chance, I guess, since I know how that primer works. Let's start with this shade right here. Okay, definitely powdery, but not too bad. I don't really mind powdery or like a lot of fallout. That's because I do my eyes first. So if that bothers you, that's something to note. Let's see what kind of pigment we're going to get. Ooh. Okay. That's really pretty. And I'm naturally like a dipper or heavy handed, if you want to say. Oh, really powdery. <laughs> Um, so I'm constantly going back into the palette. I do that with every single palette, whether it's pigmented or not. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is what I got going into the palette twice. Okay. Miss Lara might be shutting me up. If I remember right, this color didn't swatch that nicely, but going on the eyes. And that's also why I don't really like trust swatches. I'm like, let's, let's test it on where it's actually supposed to go. That is really, really pretty. Let's start deepening this up. I want to go in with this corner shade right here. I'm going to go back into that first brush with um, no extra eyeshadow, just whatever is left over on the brush. Just to blend it a little more. I've only used two shadows. I want to like do more, but I'm also liking where I'm at, so I don't want to get too carried away. Let's go ahead and grab a shimmer. I'm going to not wet the brush first. Let's go for this one. Not too bad, but I love my shimmers like super bright. Let's try wetting the brush, see if that makes... Okay. Okay. Why is it squirting like that? Hello? Okay, let's see if a wet brush makes it any different, and it doesn't. <laughs> Only difference is my brush is wet. When I swatched this palette, I was like, eh, I'm not looking forward to it anymore. But actually putting it on my eyes, that was so easy to blend out, and the colors are very pigmented. I also picked up a loose pigment. I thought it was going to be like packed, where you kind of just like you know, swirl your finger around, but no, it's loose. Wait until I open it up. So you want to be careful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You don't get a ton in there, but honestly, you just need the littlest amount. When I was swatching, I grabbed like the littlest bit and it covered my whole hand. So you do not need a lot. And let's just shut up and show you. I'm actually going to go into the lid, whatever's just left over in this lid, because I'm telling you, you do not need that much. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is insane. That's what I like, more intense. And I didn't take that much, I'm just going into the lid. Oh my gosh. It's just like so like wet looking and chrome and glittery, it's just perfect. When I swatched it, I instantly was like, I need all the shades of this. There was so many to choose from. So let's get back into the palette. Let me make sure to put the lid on because like I said, it's a loose pigment and you do not want that everywhere. Let's go into the shade right here. 
which I kind of ruined when I was swatching. My finger was wet and it's a matte shade, so it kind of like made it weird. Let me just darken out this outer corner as much as I can with the shimmer. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. Let's go ahead and grab this, why not? Just make it a little deeper. There we go, that's what I needed. I'm sorry, Miss Lara, I'm sorry, I doubted you. I got so excited with this, I haven't even been like blending my eyeshadows out. And we're all caught up. I am super happy with how this is turning out so far. Now we have some mascara to try. This is the Starry Sky Thick and Long Mascara by Sky V. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So it's not smooth, like it's a little gritty feeling if you're like a texture person and that might bother you. I do like um, the wand. I like that plasticky, like spiky kind of wand because I feel like that really like separates your lashes and gives you the volume. So let's see. My lashes aren't too bad. I don't have like super short lashes, but I don't have super long either. Wow, I did curl my lashes by the way. I don't know if I said that already. Definitely wet formula, um, which typically I don't really like. I like my mascaras a little more dried out, but you know, you don't want to open it first thing and it's already dried out. I really feel like this won't need a second coat. I feel like if I did a second coat, it might get a little too spidery. I think just one coat of this is honestly going to be fine. So while my mascara dries, because I'm not going to lie, I can kind of feel like the wetness on my eyes. These are the lashes that I picked up. So pretty. I think these were like a dollar or something and you get what, six pair, seven pairs and they look nice and fluffy. Lashes are on. I really love these. I don't know if I'm just having good luck with the products that I picked or what. They had a thicker band and usually with thicker bands, you know, they're not as flexible. Like they're kind of hard to form to your eye, but I had no problem. I did curl them a little bit, but I always do that with my eyelashes. And I also did tight line and just to hide the band a little bit, I went in with this eyeliner. We're going to actually play with these later. So it's from this set. While my lashes were drying as well, I went in with primer. I don't have a primer um, from Temu, so I just went ahead with my e.l.f. one. As you can see, she's well loved, the Power Grip Primer. I'm trying to use her up. Let me know if you guys would actually be interested in a um, empties video, like what I've used up and how I liked it or if I'll repurchase. Let me know if you guys would be interested in one of those because I can definitely save my trash. <laughs> I really wanted to try this AOA Studio Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blender. I always hear so much about it. I've always wanted to try it, but I haven't placed an order on Shop Miss A in like forever. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a video of me trying their makeup. You can actually purchase it on Amazon. So I was like, why not try that? This is the sponge wet and this is dry. So we got a big daddy and a little baby. Let's get into this foundation. So we have the Lang Mani. I don't know how to pronounce like half this stuff. I'll have everything linked down below. Now I have already opened this, but not tried it on my face. This is not my shade. Let me show you guys the picture online. When I first opened this and I did open everything just to make sure everything was okay, like not broken. And just cause I was excited. I mean, uh, new package, I'm opening it instantly. I was like, there is no way I would have chose this shade for myself. So look at the picture online. I don't know if you should really trust the picture, but we're gonna go ahead and test her out. Claims to be full coverage, soft matte, natural concealment. It does come with a pump, which is really nice. Now, obviously not my shade, and some of you may consider this cheating, but I wanna be realistic. Foundation being too dark for me is nothing new. So I do have this product here, which is the LA Girl Pro Color Pigment whatever, this <laughs> white shade here. And it's for our foundation, so you can mix it and like kind of custom create your own shade. So I am gonna mix this with my foundation today just because there's no way. And I feel like if I'm not liking the shade, I'm not gonna like anything else that I put on top. Let's just go ahead, let's be realistic because if I was going somewhere after this, this is what I would do. And this isn't supposed to change the formula at all, which I, I haven't noticed a difference in any of my other foundations when I use it. I think we're in the clear to use it. That's a cute angle of me. And pump her out here. Oh. oh, okay, so she's thick. Oh my god, it looks even darker. <laughs> I know not everyone would want to do this, but when you spend your money on a foundation and it's not your shade, you know, this should work. I'm not trying to get it perfect. I don't want to be here all day. We'll make this work. Let's go in with the sponge. 
it almost has like a painty kind of smell. Still a little dark. Okay, we're getting nice coverage though. I see what the hype is about with the sponge. It is super soft. This is with one layer. I could definitely go for some more coverage. The shade is still way too dark. Let me see if I can lighten it up a little bit more. Cooking it up. I mean, this definitely isn't ideal for everyone, but I'm so used to it. It's not a big deal for me. I'm not gonna like deduct points <laughs> from the foundation for being too dark. I am gonna deduct points for that picture though, because that was just a straight up lie. <laughs> there is no way this is the same shade as that picture online. I really like this foundation though so far. Besides obviously the shade, we're just gonna drag it down a little bit. Now this is my second layer going in. Definitely buildable, I don't feel too cakey. Doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It does have like a, it's very faint though, like a makeup smell. Doesn't smell the best, but not like overly, not overly powerful to where it's like grossing me out. I haven't even looked at myself up close. I could be like looking so bad. Let's see. No, there is no way. My skin looks so... Let's bring it a little more on my neck just so we can match. I'm actually really surprised right now. I did not have high hopes. Let's do my nose. My nose is a little weird with foundation, so that will be the true test. I did make sure to moisturize, do my skincare. I exfoliated yesterday. I um, shaved my face to make sure my skin was good. So the foundation definitely got a fair base. Let's go ahead and get into the concealer. This is the Fit Colors High Definition Concealer. I like the applicator. Yeah, it's in a squeeze tube. If you guys don't know, I don't like squeezy tubes. It's probably just a me problem because I feel like as soon as I squeeze them, they just like explode everywhere. But I'm gonna take it on a brush. Ooh, she is pink let's go ahead and see i oh yeah she's thick might be an oh my god it's so pink you guys can't tell like on camera i feel like just looking in my monitor oh my god this smells like the air spun that like baby powder hate to say it but like grandma scent and you know what i'm talking about like oh okay hold on let me blend this in because if it's thick it might be hard Oh yeah, that's kind of strong. I'm not getting full coverage. I mean, you can still see all my blue under my eyes, which I mean, color correct, you know, could fix, but if you're not wanting to do all that, if the concealer claims it's full coverage, you know, you want it to be full coverage. This is one coat. I'm liking that the concealer isn't making my under eyes immediately dry. Let's go in with another layer. Let's see how buildable this is. Seems pretty buildable. It's still not the coverage that I like. I think this would be nice for like a makeup day where you don't want people to know you're wearing makeup. Like you're not really looking to conceal fully, but you just want a little pick me up. I think that's what this foundation would be perfect for. But if you're like a full coverage, don't want to see any under eye blueness or dark circles, this wouldn't be the foundation for you. I want to try a third layer, but is that excessive? We're here to try. Let's do a third layer. I'm going to try to just take a little. Again, I'm liking that it's not drying out my under eyes. It's almost making them more dewy. You know what? Not bad for being buildable. Usually with building products, you know, you start to get really cakey or like crepey look, crepey, crepey, crepey looking. Like I said before, I think I would use it more for like natural days. If you're going like full coverage glam, I don't know if this would be fully like what you were looking for. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of the foundation that I still have on my mixing palette just to build up a little bit more. I want some more coverage. That was actually like the perfect combo. Those products seem to work really well together. Our next product is gonna be a bronzer or contour, kind of depending what shade. <laughs> the multi-function makeup pen, smooth and hydrating. This is by Kiss Beauty. Just take the cap off, comes with a sponge. It actually has a dial here for you to turn it on and off. 
but let's switch it to on. Wait. Oh god. It's kind of already like breaking apart. Oh, or untwisting. Okay. Okay, so you kind of have to like hold the this bottom part down and then twist just the top because if you see if you're trying to twist the whole thing, you're untwisting the cap. Oh god, squeezy tube. It's gonna explode. Looks like a little poop. Oh, okay, just three little. Let's start there because I don't know how pigmented this is. And I'm gonna go in with that sponge. It's usually how I like to do my cream products anyways. Well, that's doing nothing. I want more. That is so pretty. Okay, yeah, this is more of like a contour shade. I'm gonna leave, it doesn't seem to dry down too fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it everywhere. Wow, this is pretty. I cannot get over how my skin looks right now. Okay, let's put some more. You have to use a decent amount, it seems. Just gonna do my nose. Oh, this smells good. Like laundry detergent or something. Oh, that smells really good. The um, concealer smell also has left the building. <laughs> I don't smell it, so that's good. I was a little worried at first because it was pretty strong, but I don't smell it anymore. My skin looks so glowy and I just, I'm ready for more. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the off and we can kind of test to see if it keeps spilling out. I could see this product getting really messy, especially if that lock doesn't work. <laughs> Let's move on to blush. I'm so excited. We have a liquid blush. A liquid blush that with long lasting color pigments for all day wear, a little goes a long way. Let's go ahead and try Happy Out. I'm gonna go with a little bit. I don't know how pigmented. I say a little bit as I'm drowning my face in it. Can't help it. <laughs> I go a little heavy with the blush, so I will have to contain myself. Wow, okay, really pretty, but Lord needs more. <laughs> I need to look a little closer here. Okay, well. It blends really beautifully. It blends into the skin really nicely. I wouldn't say that it like disappears, but I feel like you definitely have to build it up. Oh my God. I'm a little nervous because I do have a powder to try out and I'm not much of a powder girl because I have such dry skin. But you know, I like a little powder here and there because sometimes my skin does look a little too dewy and that's how my makeup like starts to crease. I've had the foundation on for a good probably like 20 minutes now and I mean even the concealer I'm not really creasing it's not getting in my smile lines all right guys let's get a good look of what my makeup is looking like right now because it could all go to shit at this very moment because we're going in with the powder this is the mac andy setting powder this is in the shade 010 comes with a puff I don't know can you guys see that all that powder this puff is thick we're gonna use her today. We'll set the under eyes first because you know, under eyes looking bad isn't exactly the worst thing. I don't even know how to grab this, how much to grab. Let's go light. Don't do me dirty, Mac. I don't think I like that puff. Let's go in with my normal puff. Okay, I'm not looking terrible. It actually looks really pretty. This side doesn't look, that puff, mm -mm. I would say yeet this. I need to wipe all this powder off, but you can see it already clung to like my dry patches right here, which I didn't even know I had those dry patches. I thought I exfoliated and everything pretty well. Let's, let's go ahead and set everything else like I would. It doesn't smell bad, so that's good. <laughs> I'm in like a storm of powder right now. I'm not like baking or anything, so let's get this off. I still have a nice glow to my skin, but I'm already missing that dewiness. As a dry girl, 
my skin looking matte, I automatically think I look dry and crusty. The powder's not bad though. I can't really test it if it holds oils well because like I said, I have dry skin. It didn't make me look like too crazy. Uh, didn't really cling well there. I'm not mad at the powder. Be prepared to eat it. <laughs> I've had worse powders, honestly, like ones that as soon as I put it on my face, my face looks disgusting. <laughs> um, I don't know, I almost feel like, and I don't know if this is just in my head, but I feel like it kind of took away some of my coverage that I had going on. I didn't pick up a matte bronzer. I just went in with this LA Colors. This is actually a pressed powder. This is in the shade beige. You can get this at the dollar store. That's what I used for bronzer today and I've actually really been loving this. I mean, $1.25, you really just can't beat it. Let's go ahead and get into blush since, you know, we did lose some of our color and yeah, I don't know. Powder just isn't my favorite. I don't know why I keep trying powders. I think I know now for like future reference to just keep the powder under my eyes. I'm kind of missing the way my skin looked. But anyways, let's get into blush. This is so cute. I definitely got it because of the packaging. One of my cat's name is Bear. Oh, it's a little bear. I don't know if that's like a speech bubble or what. Now this is really small. Um, I was expecting it to be bigger, but I think this was like a dollar something. I'm excited. Let's get some blush on this face. This was kind of similar to that happy liquid shade. Oh, I feel like this is going to be really pigmented. Oh, the bear's getting kind of messed up. Not bad, but oh my God, <laughs> you guys can see it's starting to get really powdery. I'm pretty heavy handed, so it's probably just me to be honest. Ooh, really pretty The Oh God, <laughs> I just looked in the mirror and I look a little intense. On camera, cute. Mirror, looking a little clownish. I like blush on my nose, so I'm gonna take a little bit right here. In the mirror, I'm looking a little crazy with the blush, so I'm just gonna take my sponge. So far, so good. Um, let's do my eyebrows. So we're gonna zoom back in. I've already had my eyebrows kind of laminated down. I went in with the She Glam. This is the Crystal Clear Set Me Up Brow Hold. I've really been loving this, honestly, better than the e.l.f. one. Now we have the eyebrow pencil. So you have the pencil side, and then you also have a spoolie. Let me swatch it real quick. Okay, definitely dry. Uh, that should be a decent shade. It's a little warmer than I like. So I've really been loving doing just like hair like strokes. You know, with like the brow gel, you can't really get your pencil through it because it's waxy. This is going over it so well. Now, maybe it's because it's had time to set. I mean, my eyebrows have been setting this whole time that I've been doing my makeup, but it's just like cruising through it. It's not getting stuck on the gel. It's not building up on the pencil or anything. It is a little warmer than I would like. You can kind of see it's getting like reddish. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> the more I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's a little too uh, red looking for my liking. I'm gonna go off camera, clean up my eyebrows a little bit, and then we can do my under eyes because we still have to play with the eyeshadow palette a little bit more. Okay, my eyebrows are done. I did end up going in with this She Glam brow pencil. I tried to mix them together just to bring that warmness down. It helped a little bit, but you can still see that my eyebrows are pretty warm. Let's finish up our under eyes. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. Let me smoke that out just a little bit or like blend it out with this shade here. And this one is pretty pigmented, so I'm just gonna go right along the edge. Just to deepen it up since we did lose some of that depth. Going into this one, I, I'm i telling you, every time I look at this palette, I can't wait to go into like the mintier shades. Oof. Let me know if that's something you guys would want filmed or you know, if I just need to do that in my own time. I would love to play with this palette some more. I mean, obviously it's green, so there's only so many looks you can get. Let's do a little bit of an inner corner highlight, which I never do, but I really wanna, you know, test out these shades. So let's go in with that one there. Ooh, okay. Nice and subtle. You know me, I'm like really into like, <laughs> you know, I want a lot of glitter and shimmer, but I think that's really pretty just for like the inner corner. Just that extra, oh yeah. Especially if you build it up. 
feel like these shadows just have to be built up a little bit, but nothing wrong with that. Do a little bit of eyebrow highlight. So pretty. I love. We're not done yet with the under eyes. Like I mentioned earlier, I went in with that black liner. We have all these liners. I want to put one in my waterline. Let's do a yellow. Let's go with yellow because, damn. I usually don't like a super dark eye. Hello? <laughs> okay, so swatches on the hand just fine. Might just not be made for the waterline. Oh wait, there we go. That's pretty. I think you might need to just warm it up on your hand first. My eyes are already starting to water, so that's really gonna be a test for it. Yeah, just really having to build it up. But I think this is what, 20 liners for like eight bucks? I have been eyeing the ColourPop ones, like that vault or whatever it is, forever. And I just haven't done it. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh, yes. <laughs> I have to try those out. Not bad at all. Let's just stay zoomed in. Why not? <laughs> We're about to do my lips. And for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this palette here. I think these two would go the best with this look. I almost wanna go for the lightest shade. Okay. I've hit myself like five times in this video. Matte lip gloss. This is just number one. Wait, matte lip gloss. It says matte lip gloss. That makes no sense. That smells like watermelon candy. Oh my God, that smells good. There has been some interesting smells, but that smells so good. Oh wow, that's like a soft uh, matte, like, you know, um, what are those called? The NYX matte creams? That's what this feels like. Okay, this is a little too pinky for me. I'm gonna go into that second shade. Yeah, let's go in with that actually. I'm just gonna put it on top. It's definitely drying down to a matte, but it doesn't feel heavy on my lips. We have, this is a eyeshadow palette. When I chose this, I definitely thought it was a highlighting palette, not eyeshadow. This is the Memory Kiss Eight Colors Bloom Eyeshadow. I'm gonna use it as highlighter. I wasn't too impressed when I swatched it. It kind of seems like the glitter was sitting all at the top and then the more like you swatch it, the glitter is just gone already and it just becomes like a shimmer. Let's go in with this white shade here. Oh, another thing and I, I'm surprised I haven't like really noticed. This smells so bad. So bad. Wait. Okay, but that's kind of pretty. Oh my God. What shade did I just, I just went into this shade right here. Why do I kind of love that? I got a little too carried away. Now there's glitter all over my face, um, but I just don't think it's worth the money. I think this was like five bucks and it's getting kind of pricey for Temu, okay? Just for me personally, I would get the chrome shades because I like more of that like intense pigment. But if you like more of like this glitter for an eyeshadow topper, then this could be for you, um, but it stinks. So just keep that in mind. It's stinky. Stinky. I'm actually gonna get some of this glitter off of me. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm kind of digging that first shade. <laughs> it left a little bit of pigment. So this is the Star Flash Quicksand Makeup Spray. Wait till you guys see this because I don't read when I get things online apparently. Yeah, that's right. It's a shimmery setting spray. You guys don't know, I go heavy on the setting spray because it feels amazing, first of all, and then I need that like dewiness back. Yeah, I'm kinda, sorry, I'm all over the place, but I'm regretting putting that glitter everywhere. I just couldn't stop myself. Let's see. Just look at it in the bottle, oh my God, okay. Okay, I feel like I needed to get it closer. It was not hitting my face, but oh my God. Oh, wait, <laughs> my skin looks good. This, see my skin just needs to be dewy or else, hold on, sorry, I need my fan. <laughs> my face is like drenched. I broke my fan, hold on. 
The reason I was like freaking out when I sprayed it, this smells like, and this is going to be so specific, but this smells like that friend in high school who smoked a shit ton of cigarettes and then sprayed herself with like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret spray to try to cover it up. And you're just like, no girl, you still smell like cigarettes plus the spray. That's what this smells like. Another smelly, we just got the smelliest products for last, I guess. I don't still smell it. So it's definitely just like when you, do I? No, I don't smell it anymore. At least it disappears because, oh my gosh, it just brought my skin back to life. Yeah, my skin is definitely brought back to life. Holy crap. Okay, obviously I'm glittery there. I didn't leave like an intense amount of shimmer on me. Let's do a recap. I'm sure I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you know, let's just get some more thoughts. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys know how I feel about these products, but let's just go through them. This is going to be in no particular order. It's just kind of like what's off to the side and what I grab. So the eyebrow pencil, don't love the shade. Again, I'll use it because I have it. It's a dollar. So if you can find a good shade, I think it's worth it. If you're like me and you like to um, laminate what, what is this called? I'm not sure. Like stick your brows down and use like that thick gel. This had no issue going through. I would recommend this. I mean, a dollar, you can't beat it. And I don't think I showed you guys how much you get, but I mean, that is a decent amount. Next is the mascara. I can't get over this packaging. And honestly, I thought it was just going to be like the packaging is nice. And then the mascara was going to be shit but I actually really enjoyed the mascara. I wouldn't do two coats of it just because I feel like it, your lashes could get very spidery very quick. But if you don't like those spiky wands then you're probably not gonna like this. I personally love spiky wands. I feel like it really like separates my lashes and gives me that length. Let me grab the prices of everything because I feel like price definitely, you know, contributes to if it's worth it or not. So this mascara was $2. Even if you just wanted it for the packaging, just like for display, you can't beat $2 and the mascara actually works well. Bomb. I mean, I've tried mascaras that are like 20 bucks and are absolute shit, you know? Now I'm going to be looking at my phone to get prices. Sorry. This, what is this? The diamond highlighter. See, that's why I thought it was a highlighter, but then it says eyeshadow palette. So that was my bad. I feel like the glitter is all sitting at the top and then the more you use it, it's just going to be like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like a shimmery shade underneath, not much glitter. So far, this one's a no for me. A million times, yes, I need all of those. The lashes are really nice. Usually with a thicker band, I'm kind of iffy because they're hard to like shape to my eyes. I do have smaller eyes. I had no issue with these and I love how fluffy they are. You get seven lashes for three bucks. These were worth it in my opinion. Six piece liquid lipstick set. This was $5.49 and you're getting six. So less than a dollar for them. My lips are obviously matte. They don't feel heavy. Now I am more of a matte lipstick girly. So I do like matte lips. I'm not uncomfortable. I don't feel it heavy. Doesn't feel like it's gonna crack. Okay, um, it might be kiss proof. There was a little bit there. Number two, definitely a good shade. I would have paid $5.49 just for number two. The setting spray, the setting spray was, okay, this was $4.99. She's stinky, she smells like cigarettes and perfume, um, but that smell went away, so that's nice. The shimmer, I'm, I don't think it made me like overly glittery or anything. I feel like it really did bring my skin back to life. I was getting a little too matte for my liking. This is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be for $5. I really, I like it. It smells, but I like it. Okay. The powder. Yeah. Oh my God. It's everywhere. It's getting everywhere. I'm dry skin. I'm dry skin. That's me. That's my identity. I'm dry skin. <laughs> I have dry skin, so I'm not the biggest on powder. I do like to set my face some just because if not, you know, stuff starts to sink into my fine lines. There's nothing like revolutionary about it. I'm not like, oh my God, you need this. It blurred everything. Yeah, I mean, it didn't make my under eyes and my skin look really nice. So let's see how much this was. I want to say it was the most expensive thing, but still under $10. Okay, so this was $8.99. I wouldn't be mad if I had purchased this myself. I'm gonna continue to use it. I'm actually excited to use it some more with uh, more of like my own products. I mean, I would recommend this as well. Foundation, besides being the wrong shade, in love. I want a backup of this just in case they go out. The shade not matching is a little annoying, but I'm used to that. Strongly, strongly suggest if you're fair like me to get one of these and just, you gotta custom make your shade, girl. I know it sucks, but you gotta do it. And this was the only one that I found that had a decent shade range, but still, you know, obviously they have some work to do. 349. 
$3.49 for this kind of foundation. This is something I feel like one of the higher end foundations would give you, like the finish. And you'd be paying, you know, like 20, 30 bucks. How much are foundations now? I don't know. I only get drugstore foundations. The Kiss Beauty Contour. Let's see. It's been setting for a little bit. Let's see if it's spilled out. No? Okay. So it seemed to be locked. I'm squeezing and nothing else is coming out. So I think that lock actually works. I loved this just as much as the foundation. I feel like my skin looks so good right now. This blended out beautifully. It didn't dry down too fast where you don't have time to, you know blend it where it's like already drying and you're like oh shit like you got to do the rest of your face love it i want more shades of this as well i'm pretty sure they had a bronzier shade because this was more of like the contour shade let me see how much this was 2.99 2.99 i want more of these i'm going shopping after this i swear i definitely want more shades of this one 2.99 as well you can't beat it. Blend it out beautifully. If you want more of like that natural finish, you could definitely get that on like the first go around. And then if you want to build it up, you could also build it up. I mean, you guys saw I built it up. The High Bear Blush. I mean, I can't. That's so cute. Definitely smaller than I expected. See how much she was? $1.49. I got this blush at uh, Dollar Tree. This was $1.25, obviously. And so, I mean, you could technically get more for your money, but are you going to get a little bear imprinted? No, you're just going to get this. Boring and plain. But no, besides like the packaging, it worked really well. The concealer, this is the only thing I'm kind of like, I'll use it because I have it, but I don't think it was anything revolutionary. You could definitely build it up, which I was surprised about because usually when you start building and building foundations or concealers, they really start to get like cakey or, you know, you just start to look a little crazy. This, you could, I felt like I could just keep building. I did what, like three layers? I feel like I could have just kept going to get my desired coverage. This was $1.99. I'll use it because I have it. It's not gonna be like my go-to everyday concealer. This was the lightest shade. I personally think I needed a little bit lighter or just a different undertone because it is kind of pinky, but it's not the worst. I mean, it blended out just fine. Not bad. Okay, Miss Lara is up next. We doubted her. This was so easy to work with. They had a bunch of these. Like, they weren't from this seller. Like, it wasn't Miss Lara. It was something else, which is kind of weird on the site. Like, you can find the same product, just different, like, versions of it. I mean, I don't really know what that's all about, but I want, like, a million of these now. But I'll probably be looking for Miss Lara because <laughs> she did us right. Let's see how much she was. $4. 100% recommend this. I want the other shades like immediately. $8.49. 20. It's worth it. I would purchase this. If I knew what I know now going into it, I would purchase this. If you like to put different colors in your waterline for like that nice pop, I would start out with this because it seems to work just fine on the waterline. I don't know how it would work as like a uh, winged eyeliner or anything because I don't typically do that, but I'm sure it would be fine. They felt creamy. I know this isn't Temu, but I see the hype about these sponges. Definitely recommend these as well. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, I got them on Amazon. They're originally from Shop Miss A though, but just like can't stop squishing it. I would love to know what you guys think about this look down below and what you think about the products. I tried to show them, you know, as accurately as possible. Obviously you guys aren't here in the room with me, so you can't tell, but that's why I like to do my close-ups. You know, I want you guys to see my skin and what's going on, but I can't believe, honestly, like how well all these products sat together. Even if they didn't send me these products, I would not be disappointed if I paid for this with my own money. I think I got like this full face for, let me actually look. Let me give you an accurate price. So you guys can see here, the total was $58.35. That's all the products. If you guys do want more of these videos, definitely let me know because I'm excited to try more products. I'm like, did I get lucky choosing them or like, are they all this bomb? Let me know if you guys have tried any products from Temu, like any suggestions of what I should try or if you're curious about a product, I'm here to test it out for you. <laughs> if you do wanna check out Temu and if you're the first time user, you can use my code and you'll be able to get 30% off. And also the code doesn't just work on makeup. It's like for the whole site. Honestly, the makeup excited me so much, but also when I started looking at like home decor, it got dangerous. There is so much. You will find yourself on there for hours and hours and hours. It's like my new addiction. I just like pop on there. I'm like, oh, what do they have on the page now? Like, is there anything? And they have flash sales all the time. I would say turn your notifications off though. Maybe don't get like emails from them because they're going to blow your stuff up. But yeah, so I'm super curious about what you guys think about this look. I am obsessed. I can't get enough of it. I'm looking in the mirror and the monitor and I'm just like, yes. 
bitch. Your makeup looks good. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.